Manny Orozco is a college student and an experienced first responder, but last fall, his training came too late. When I approached the student, he was completely unresponsive um, and he had no pulse. Manny said he performed CPR, but the student had been down for a number of minutes. For an 18-year-old freshman to pass away from sudden cardiac arrest is the most devastating thing in the world. CPR will most definitely save lives. Tracy Ryan is on a mission to make sure every man, woman and child in her community knows CPR. She says it's that critical and that easy, but she's fighting a lot of misinformation. Seven out of ten people didn't know what to do in a cardiac arrest setting and they didn't want to do CPR because they didn't want to give mouth to mouth. That's the first myth Tracy likes to bust. Mouth to mouth resuscitation is out. CPR is now hands only, so first Call 911 and then? You're going to take one hand in the center of the chest, then you're going to take your other hand, you're going to put your shoulders over the chest, and you're going to push down, and you're going to sing the beat of staying alive. Tracy says people are worried they will do more harm than good. That's myth number two. I'd rather have a broken rib and sitting in the ICU alive than have intact ribs and being buried in the cemetery. And th that's what I tell everybody. <laughs> Finally, Tracy works to overcome the fear of automated external defibrillators, or AEDs. They are not dangerous or hard to use. AEDs look like they're very intimidating to people. They're not. Once you open it, it speaks to you. Care open package and remove pad. The AED didn't come to us for about three to four minutes. Manny says finding the AED quickly on campus could have made all the difference. It's the difference between giving someone a fighting chance of surviving and living versus them dying. I'm Marty Salt reporting.